My name is Joe North. I'm the Vice President of Littoral Ship Systems. We're in Paris at uh, Euronaval, which is the largest uh, naval show that is held within Europe. This ship class in, in the U.S. Navy is replacing three, three other ship classes. So we got one ship coming in replacing three others. Uh, those ships do mine warfare, those ships do ASW, and those ships do surface warfare. What, what, what the modularity concept is, uh, we can bring the weapons and the technology, develop it off the ship on land, and bring that back to the ship when it's ready, and it's, it's designed to a standard interface which allows them to plug and play on the ship. We worked with the Navy uh, quite a bit at the beginning, uh, clarifying what requirements they really wanted to make sure we really had a good understanding. And we also brought in a lot of crews from other ships and said, give us feedback on what you would like to do, what, what other tools and capability of automation or engineering we can provide for you. As I mentioned, LCS 1 and 3 are both delivered. Uh, 3 was just commissioned this past August. She's out in San Diego, both home ported out there. Uh, LCS 1 is getting ready to deploy to Singapore in the uh, early 2013 timeframe. Uh, we have LCS 5, 7, 9, and 11 in construction up at the shipyard in Marinette. LCS is absolutely one of the best ships in the world right now. It's, uh, it's creating uh, quite the stir because of its success. Hi, my name's Tom Cosgrove. I work in business development for Littoral Ship Systems. I think the inherent capabilities of the ship, meaning that it's uh, 3,500 3, tons or less, uh, it has shallow draft, it has some great functionality in the uh, stern ramp area, reconfigurable zones. Uh, those are the key features that have them interested. That and the fact that it's proven uh, for the U.S. Navy. Lockheed Martin is very keen on understanding the affordability requirements that the international customers are placing on us. So to be competitive, we must be cost competitive. And Lockheed Martin uh, is constantly looking for ways to reduce the costs to make the ships the most affordable for the international customer. Because the ship is designed with reconfigurable space for the U.S. Navy multi-mission modules, what we're able to do is take the mission set, the requirements that the foreign navy may ask for, and use the reconfigurable space so that we can install fixed equipment in the space where the uh, empty space essentially, where, where it makes it easier to modify the ship to the individual navy's needs. I think the most a uh, useful and probably most frequently used operational feature would be the stern ramp. Uh, because of the stern ramp, they're able to launch uh, rib boats, 11 meter rib boats, quickly and safely. I think it's a trend setting feature and most navies are finding that very attractive. Freedom Class is not only delivering, we're taking it to an international partnership and we're looking for another market overseas.